All right, Jerome McGinley is traded to the motherfucking Pittsburgh Penguins for two college players and a first-round pick. Now, earlier today, I was in a very good mood because I thought the Bruins had acquired Jerome McGinley for jack shit and ripped off Jay Feaster's dumb ass. But in the end, the Penguins do because Jay Feaster, <laughs> the GM of Calgary, has to be the dumbest bitch to ever walk this earth. How in the fuck <laughs> do you ask for so little and then you end up trading your best player ever to the goddamn Pittsburgh Penguins? You're a disgrace. This motherfucker is stupid enough that he signs Dennis Wideman to big money over the offseason. Hey Jay, have you ever seen Dennis Wideman play? <laughs> in your fucking life or do you just open up the fucking owner's checkbook screw your fucking team and now screw my team you dumb bitch now Peter Shirelli you're in general a good you're you're for the most part a good general manager but for fuck's sake just give him a couple more prospects you know we had this deal in the bag you, you have Jay, Jay's dumb bitch ass by the Fucking leash. You know, just give him a couple more players. What the fuck do we need more prospects for? This team is young. This team's trying to win a cup this year. We got to get as good as Pittsburgh. They already took Brendan Morrow from our ass last week. And you're, you're getting stingy on the prospects. Who the fuck is it It's so important that we can't trade? Is it Malcolm Subban? <laughs> He's not going to be in the league for years. What are we going to be then? Licking Pittsburgh's fucking feet. Well, they're out doing business. That's where we're going to fucking be, Peter. <laughs> Kenneth Agostino and Ben Hanna Whiskey. <laughs> Ooh, what an enticing fucking offer that is. Just give him some. Give him Ryan Spooner. You know, who are you? Off Bartkowski you're offering? You know, who gives a shit about fucking Bartkowski. We got 700 defensemen in Providence that look the fucking same to me. And there isn't a Bobby Orr among the fucking group. Alright, so trade whoever the fuck they want from Providence. We don't have roster spots. Who gives a shit? Trade Koklachev. <laughs> Whatever. Add Ryan Spooner to the trade. Add Malcolm Subban. We're talking about a fucking Hall of Famer who's trying to win a cup here and help us the fuck out. And he goes to Pittsburgh. Now if we make a trade, we're going to have to give up more because other teams know that we're fucking desperate as fuck. Who we're going to get, I don't know. We're still going to get someone, but we're chasing Pittsburgh. They picked up two fucking players on Team Canada for nothing that we wanted. We obviously had interest in these guys, and nothing happened because we're stingy on the fucking prospects. Fuck the prospects. How often is it that the prospects work out on this team? You know, on any team. It, great. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. It's worth the goddamn risk. Now what do we have to go up against Pittsburgh? Now I'm going to give you some time, Peter, to do something. We, The trade deadline's in a week. You have some time. You've made good trades in the past. But just for the love of Christ, get someone who can put the puck in the net. Get another defenseman. Get Ryan Whitney. That's fine with me. And a forward. Do not be stingy about <laughs> these minor league players who you don't know if they're going to be fucking on this team. You don't know if Ryan Spooner is going to be the shit. And if he is, it ain't going to be this year. And I'll tell you one thing. Matt Barkowski is not going to be the shit. He is, he's whatever. Same with all these. <laughs> God damn it. All these defensemen we have. 
We have Dougie. We have Chara. Ferentz, you know, he's not cutting it. Then we have a couple average guys. We don't need to hold on to six guys in Providence who are all tiny puck movers. All right, trade a couple of them. Whatever. We don't need to hold on to ten centers in Providence. We have centers on the big team. Are you trying to win the Calder Cup, Peter? No one gives a shit about your minor league system. When it comes to making moves like this, you got to do it. You've done it in the past. God damn it. Well, at least as I go to bed tonight, a little pissed off. At least I'm not a Flames fan. <laughs> because a fucking donkey can run a team better than Jay Feaster. You got fucking fleeced, Jay Feaster. You're an idiot. <laughs> you are the worst fucking GM you're worse than whoever runs the Cleveland Browns. You're worse than whoever runs the Kansas City Royals. You are number... The fact that you have a job is absurd. You're fired. When you're just ruining Calgary, it doesn't bother me. But now you've fucked up my team. You stupid dumb bitch. Now hopefully the Bruins make a trade in a couple days. But for now... I'm just going to be pissed off.